Welcome everyone, this is Mr. Oberst giving you an art lesson and showing you how to make a jungle scene. Now the grade twos uh, already started this lesson um, before we had this uh, time away and we did make a background as you saw in that little intro but what I'm going to do today is show you how to draw the animals first. So I'm going to, um, this particular lesson will be the monkey and this hippo that I'm gonna show you. And they're gonna be kind of cute jungle animals. So we'll start the drawing and then I will go into the coloring. So the first drawing we're going to make is a monkey. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a nose, just a simple circle. And that will be kind of our central area. And then the mouth is going to go around it or at least the, the, the face part of the mouth. Now comes in the actual mouth details. So we're just gonna go a little bit on the left there, curl it up, a little bit on the right, curl it up, and put that little part in there to show that he's smiling. Now we're going to go around here and make the eyes. So we'll just kind of make, looks almost like uh, an M. And then just a little part at the top of his head will go in right there. We're going to put a lot of little dotted eyes for our animals uh, to kind of keep it consistent with the style. I'm going to put some ears now. That's the inside of the monkey's ear on the left and on the right. Obviously monkeys have huge ears. So we're going to go and make the monkey ear here going all the way around and the monkey ear going all the way around on the other side. We're now going to move over to the body. So we're gonna make him a belly, rounding it off underneath the mouth. And then we're going to put a little circle inside with a little belly button inside there. Next, we're going to draw his arms. So we're gonna put two lines off to the side first to show the right arm. And then we're going to just put in his fingers and do the same thing on the other side. Make the two lines and then finish off his hand with the fingers. Next, we're gonna move to the bottom and put in his legs. So two curly lines on one side for his leg, the curly lines for his other legs, and then we're gonna put in his feet with some toes and just kind of put a, a heel with some three toes. Same thing on the other side, a heel with three toes. And of course, a monkey needs to hang from the branches with his long tail. So we're going to go like it looks like that line is going behind the feet, behind the hand, curling around, and then going behind the arm and hand, and behind the leg again. And there we have our cute little monkey. Next, we're going to move to the hippo. First thing we're going to draw in is his nostrils. So two circles. Now we're going to make the shape of his mouth or face and it's almost going to look like kind of like an xbox controller but just stopping don't finishing off uh, the lines and just put like a little line there a little line there to show it's kind of his nose wrinkles and then we're going to put the top of his head round it off putting in these beady little eyes again maybe making them a little bit thicker and for his ears, we're going to almost make it look like a uh, top of like a drumstick or something like that for his ears. Now hippos are very fat, so we're going to put a nice round body on our hippo. Notice how I don't finish off these lines again, because that is where the legs are going to go in. We're now going to put in one leg, put in the other leg. And then we're going to draw in what I'm assuming are like toenails. Not quite sure what purpose they serve on a hippo. And then just his tail will just be kind of like a little line with kind of little pokey things coming out. And there we have our jungle animals. But now what we're going to do 
is we're going to color them. So we are going to get some pencil crayons and we are going to start coloring our monkey first. Just deciding what colors we want to use. I'm just going to start here with this brown. As I'm doing this and I'm coloring it, I am thinking probably for the next instructional video, I will fast forward these parts, but you can probably just fast forward uh, on your own on this video so that you can kind of get a, you know, kind of a sense of, of where I'm going with this. So I'm just going to continue to color, put in some brown. I might move to some yellow and some orange later. and get lots of color on our animals. And later in this video, I will show you how we're going to be cutting these animals out. And there again, the great twos may still have their scenes from what we made before, and you guys can just paste them into your scene like I showed you with the example. Those of you who did not make the background scene and you'd like to do one on your own, I don't know how much materials you have at home. If you have some colored paper, it's one advantage to being at school as well, especially as an artist. There's so many cool materials and resources for us to use. And notice even though I'm using one color of brown, there's different shades we can do with this. We can go dark, we can go light. It gives it more character and more detail. Now that we have all of the brown in there, we're going to move to a yellow. Oh, great. Of course, these pencil crayons tend to break sometimes. These are the watercolor pencil crayons that I brought from school, and they don't uh, work too well sometimes. They break quite easily. This one feels like it's about to break again, too. I'll just finish putting a little bit of yellow in here. I'll grab some of this orange, see what the orange looks like on his face. Put a little bit on his belly here. Whatever colors you guys can, can come up with, you can play around with it. I like to blend my colors too, so I'm gonna do a little bit of yellow over top of this orange. Oh, and there it breaks again. Another yellow here, color it in. And then get that orange again. And, uh, oh, red. Let's get that orange again and fill this in. A little bit of blending again.
then finally for the nose, maybe I'll use this black. Let's do maybe a black nose. Put it from dark to light. We don't color it all in, make it look like this bit of a highlight. And there we have our monkey all colored in. Now moving over to the hippo, um, those are pretty much gray, but that's boring. So I think I'm going to grab this purple. I'm going to start to uh, make a colorful look on this hippo and start filling in some purple here. Notice when I do color, I know I've mentioned this with some of the classes before, try and go in, in one direction. It just makes it look a little bit better, more what's called uniform and less scribbly. That's always a neat uh, coloring effect you can have is by just going in one direction. I go kind of at a diagonal. If you want to go up and down or side to side, but just be consistent or be the same with the direction you color it in. Especially with pencil crayons. Sometimes with paint, you can play around with moving in different directions to make it look what's called more opaque. And for the ears here, we're just going to go really dark with the purple. It looks like it's a different shade, different value to it. Might as well make them all purple. I think any other color the hip might look a little goofy. Maybe his, do his uh, toenails and nostrils a little bit different. his head so it looks almost like there's a bit of a sh shading or shadowy effect on his body his neck his, um, his head is sticking out cast a shadow same thing down here with his body on the legs and we have our two jungle animals Gonna finish up his nails here. Bit of orange. And maybe for his nostrils we'll get a black. We'll do something similar to what we did with the monkey's nose. Right, let's cut these guys out now because ultimately we want to cut them out and put them into a scene. So we are going to get our scissors and cut them out. So what I like to do is uh, instead of cutting out the details on this big piece of paper, I'm going to cut them out individually. It's kind of around like this. And then I can cut them around with a little bit more detail. And I'm not going to bother with you know, making it perfect. I understand with you guys, you may not want it, um, or may be a little bit more difficult, or you want to have your parents to help you. But that's essentially what we're going to do, is we're going to cut out those animals and put them in our scene uh, for later. And I'm going to do some more lessons on how to do some other animals.